Hey guys, Mr. Pokey here, back with another video. And for today's content, we are going to be going through 10 tips that can improve, drastically improve, radioactive nuclearly nuclearly improve your Archeron playing experience right well with regards to damage output with regards to rotations all that kind of stuff uh, so that you can also get a enjoyable enjoyable best dps in the entire game right so without further ado let's get into today's content subscribe Uh, before we begin, I will just use a very standard Archron team and that is going to be Archron running with Fire MC, uh, Pella as well as Silver Wolf. Yeah, that's pretty much it because this is probably going to be the most free to play, accessible yet um, highest damage output team. If free to play players do not have Silver Wolf, feel free to just change it out for Queen Iphone and you will still achieve pretty optimal results, right? Uh, keep in mind, unfortunately, because of my god tier pools yesterday, my Archon uh, is uh, at E2, but we're not even going to miss of E2. I'm just going to be running the exact same team that you would run for an E0S on Archon, right? So, yeah. Okay, chat. One very, very good tip that I want to show you guys. First tip of the day. If you are using Pella with uh, Archon, I want you guys to know that the resolution light cone, if the enemy is not ensnared, there's a chance to apply ensnare. Which means if you were to use uh, Pella's ultimate right now, it will give you a stack, right? Because it will apply both the defense down and the end stack. So you can now, okay, now you can see that my Archon is at six stacks of ultimate, right? So if I would use Pella's ultimate right now, and she hits, it's going to be seven. But if you take a look at the, um, the debuff, you can see that now my target already has ensnarement, right? They have a 16% defense down uh, from the ensnarement. So both, the, they all have it. So now if I were to basic attack with Pella, it will not apply a debuff using a basic attack. So you can see that now she's at seven stacks. If I were to basic attack with Pella, she will still be at seven stacks. So my point is this, right? If you want to use Pella with Archeron, do keep in mind that you should allocate, um, either you use Pella's basic attack first, and then cast an ultimate or get yourself a E4 Pella such that the skill also counts as a debuff, right? If you don't have E4 Pella, uh, you cannot apply the Ice Rest down. You cannot apply the Ice Rest down. So it can get a little bit tricky to, to use Pella with Archon, right? So I'll showcase what I mean by this. So I'm just going to do the same thing again. Okay, so this is the tip, right? This works even if you have a e E0 Pella, right? So now you can see I am at four stacks of Slash Dreams. Uh, you guys know if we were to imply and snare our Ultima now, our basic attack will not give us a Slash Dream stack. So what you can do instead is that while they don't have ensnare for example this guy does not have ensnare you want to use your basic attack first to apply the ensnare right now so now when you apply ensnare okay you get okay fire mc got hit because of thing and then you cast your ultimate you effectively gain the stack that you otherwise would not have gotten if you would use the ultimate and then basic right so rule of thumb when using Pella, this applies even if you don't have an E4 Pella, is you just use your basic attack first and then you use the ultimate. I know this will lead to a situation where you might have excess energy, especially if your Pella's ultimate is full, but giving Archeron more stacks of Stellar is more important than showing Pella's ultimate attack, right? So that is going to be the first tip, right? Use Pella's basic first with Resident Light Cone and then use the ultimate, right? Okay, chat. Second tip. I want you guys to look at Archeron stacks if that dude hits Fire MC. Alright, when the Searing Prowler hits Fire MC, keep in mind of Archeron stacks, right? So we're at 2. You notice that we were still at 2 stacks after Searing Prowler 
hit Fire MC. Despite the fact that we have way more than enough EHR needed to proc our trend of universal market. And the reason for that is because some enemies, such as Searing Prowler, they have burn rest. So whenever you face enemies that have burn rest, which they literally can, you, you cannot apply the burn, then the value of a preservation sustain running trend, it goes down by a lot. So in this kind of scenarios, when you're against enemies that are like Searing Prowler or any other enemies with this burn rest, uh, using Gallagher as a sustain would be much more preferred compared to any um, trend sustain, right? So that is the second tip. For my third tip, right? I'm not sure if you guys have encountered this problem before. So right now, uh, if you can just take a look at my technique points, I'm at currently two, right? If you ever encounter a problem where you want to farm overall, but you don't have 5,958 trick snack because you know, you're not a min picker, you don't really farm consumables back um, in your days. There is in fact a trick that can make you access Acheron's infinite outs every single day you actually don't really need to pre oh, we can figure this insane you actually don't really need to pre farm this for two locations right the first location is gonna be over here in jari low six i want you guys to go to this place the goef hotel i want you guys to walk over to the vending machine at this place and this vending machine they actually sell trick snack and you can buy 10 of this for 6,000 credits. Every single day, it refreshes every single day. So this is one very, very useful tip that you guys can use if you find yourselves lacking trick snack, right? So that is going to be one. There's also a second location, which is uh, if you guys come over to Xianzhou Luofu, uh, go to the Exalting Sanctum. Come over here. Sinwood Pavilion. And then you go down over here. Okay, I'm, I'm blind. There is this merchant that sells kites. Xing Xue. He in fact sells the material required to craft trick snack. And this refreshes every day as well, up to a hundred. But that being said, it will eat into your profits by quite a bit. 26,000 credits plus 6,000 credits in this economy, um, it will be a bit rough. It will be a bit rough, right? So I will only urge you guys to do this um, sparingly. Uh, if you want to use Archon to farm overall, I will still highly, highly recommend like whenever you guys are farming overall, for example, if you are going to be uh, farming in, uh, in the Divination Commission, right? Uh, you guys can just pop this. Try to... Try to... Find these Technique Point tokens as much as you can. Just think of it this way, as each of these saves you, like... Uh, 1200 credits. Because it's two Technique Points. So... Try to find them whenever you can and don't forsake them and it will make your life a lot, a lot uh, easier knowing. Yeah, so that is going to be the third tip for Archon. And this brings me to the fourth tip as well, uh, which is compiled by none other than our villager. All right, this is the fourth tip. And I think that this is a very, very important tip that you guys need to take note of. And this is very, very relevant to the free-to-play players, right? Um... Mint picking in Hongkai Star Rail essentially refers to killing the overall mobs in all four worlds as well as in Simtad Universe. You do in fact gain a very, very big amount of credits, uh, red experience from the Simtad Universe and unit experience from the overall, right? So this is an example that one of my villagers put up. He timed themselves farming for the overworld. So at 6.20, he started and it ended at 6.58. So in total, Man cleared all four maps and gained 94,000 experience as well as 59,000 credits, right? This is multiplied, multiplied by four if your teams are not max level, which is 376,000 experience, 18.8 .8 purple books. So my point is this. 
even if Akron is the worst unit in the entire game, even if she's the worst DPS in the entire game, even if she heals the enemy team, even if she just does absolutely nothing in game, the amount of quality of life from clearing overworld using Akron is extremely, extremely valuable for the free to place and the low spenders. If you guys can find yourselves spending a little bit more time clearing them, right? Um, these. They, they cannot be measured in terms of like damage output, right? This is straight up quality of life. If previously you do not farm the overall because it took like two hours, or if you didn't want to farm similar universe because it took like one hour per run, Akron straight up helps you do this uh, at a much shorter time. And I think the value from this itself, it should not be um, underestimated, right? So that's going to be the fourth tip. Akron enables you to become a a a, a overall picker uh, in this economy, right? So I highly, highly recommend um, people to consider this when, when putting for Akron. So that's going to be our fourth tip for Akron. Okay, so the team you use for your overworld, it straight up does not matter because they're never going to be in combat, right? So keep in mind, everybody here, the, the experience, so you can see that uh, for when it comes to leveling up, Akron is at, okay, 100,000. Hook is at 22.6. Gallagher is at 648. And Sparkle is at 35, 34.5. 345, right? So if you were to just go ahead and kill the mobs right here. Bada boom. And bada bing. Everyone in your team will get the experience. Everyone in your team will get the experience. They can literally have nothing equipped. You don't even have to equip a single damn thing. And everybody will be able to get experience. And you also do get the credits, right? You, you see, you do get the additional rewards from, from everybody. So this is legit, very, very efficient for players that want to save stamina when it comes to leveling their units. All right, chat. My next tip. If you are running any follow-up attackers, such as... Doctor Ratio, which also have a debuff implanted in them. When skill is used, 100% base chance, this is considered the debuff. And if you were to equip Doctor Ratio with a Topaz Signature Light Cone, this Topaz Signature Light Cone, it also counts as a debuff. So uh, it might not necessarily need to be Topaz Signature Light Cone. If in the future we get any sort of like Hunt Light Cone or any sort of Light Cone that applies a debuff, you can take note of uh, Archron stack, right? It's gonna generate... All right, I'm gonna play this slow-mo. One stack. And two stacks. Even though that was from a single action. So that is going to be the next tip. If you want to try some goofy R mechanics, running Doctor Ratio or even Topaz actually, uh, you can in fact gain multiple stacks of Slash Dreams when using Arcron. Sixth tip. But. This is but. If you were to use effects like, like your Fugue, right? Your Doctor Ratio, your, your, your Technique, your, all this kind of stuff. And then when you enter into battle, you can see that none of the techniques work except for Hue Hue. Himiko's field, Weld's field, Dr. Ratio's taunt, they just don't work. And I'm not sure why this is the case right now. Ara, ara. But um, this probably should get fixed eventually because it doesn't like it it, it it just doesn't make sense right so even if i were to for example give wealth like um one billion ehr right and give me a second let me just give wealth like one billion ehr real quick but for some weird reason it just doesn't work anymore so hopefully mihoyo can solve this issue but when this issue is solved, when eventually we can solve this issue, Dimension Technique don't stack. Okay, I just used one. I literally just used one, guys. I just used one. There, there's, there's no debuff. But it is, this is 100% a bug. So hopefully this, this gets fixed in the future so that we can actually get the Technique back, right? My Weld, he literally has 150% EHR, but it just didn't apply. When, and he was the only field. I, I'm just going to do it again in case chat thinks I'm dented. This is the only field. I cast this. Watch in slow-mo. 
We had the imprison and it just disappeared. Do you guys see for that split second? We literally had the imprison and it, it just disappeared. Eighth tip. Traveling in the overworld is faster with Archron's technique than running. Alright, so without further ado, in three ed editor ed editing the timer. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wait, why can't I run, guys? <laughs> Wait, why can't I run? <laughs> I, can't, I don't know how to run. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay. I'm not sure how long that took. But that was the timing for running. And now... 3, 2, 1... And now... 3, 2, 1... Okay, so Maybe my, my pressing fingers are just too slow. You know, add a note, maybe Mr. Bogey just can't press fast enough. But I'm literally pressing as fast as I can. Okay, this is so much faster now. But I'm like, I'm really like, I'm like straining to press it. Like, I'm like, okay, okay. I think this is definitely a lot faster. This is definitely a lot faster. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just a little bit old. I just feel like I'm a little bit old. Yeah, yeah, now it's definitely a lot of us. I was legit like doing my best just maybe as fast as possible. So yeah. All right, chat. This is our ninth tip. This tip has also worked with our Gen T, with Ting Liu, with all the time. It is not so much of an Akron tip, but more so of a Sparkle Bronya tip, which is, okay, this is very, very important. If you were to cast your Bronya skill right here, but... You cast Archron's ultimate immediately before Archron's turns begin. You can see it very clearly. You'll notice that the crit damage buff from Sparkle is still exists. The Dream Diver buff still exists. And if you do not use this, you are missing out a lot, a lot of damage that you could have otherwise wanted. Oh my god, I just realized how good she looked in this mode. She looks so good. Yeah, so this is an absolutely nuclear tip. Um, and I'll now show the demonstrate. That was 430,000, right? 430,000. Now if you were to do this without... Without what I just did. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it again. If you were to cast your skill here, but you wait for Archron's turn to begin, and then you cast your ultimate. You're gonna notice that the bar from Sparkle is now gone. The bar from Sparkle is now gone. You are missing that 100 crit damage. So now you're gonna be dealing. Okay, she crit more, right? She crit more, guys. She crit more. Okay, then all right, she, just just no, she crit more this time, right? Essentially, just cast a goddamn ultimate before the turn begins. Oh my god, my, 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 my Akron just doesn't want to, she just doesn't want to cooperate with me. She just doesn't want to cooperate with me. But essentially, cast the ultimate before the fucking dream die expires, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just creep better. Alright, yeah, the time to just creep better. Alright, my nine and a half tip is tied to Black Swan's ultimate with Akron. And I saved this for last is because my next video after this is going to be our Sesbian Lex where we use both Black Swan and Archon because I believe that Black Swan is actually a... She's a, she's a really, really good Nidhi partner other than Silv and Pella. So yeah, uh, the tip is basically going to be related to Black Swan's ultimate. I, I, I genuinely cannot believe yeah, this oh, Carson, thank you so much for the tier 3, man. Ain't no way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, the tip is... Even though our Archron can cast the ultimate now, we are not able to gain this 22% damage increase from Epiphany because it is not the enemy's turn. So um, you want to wait for the enemy's turn to begin and then you cast the ultimate. Unless I just crit more and just do more damage this time. So now that it's, it's this guy's turn, Did I press it too late? I think I pressed it too late. I think his turn ended. <laughs> Guys, his turn ended. 
His turn ended, guys. Okay, wait. Let me do it again. <laughs> and the last tip, chat. And the last tip. <laughs> the last tip. Tip number 10. It's gonna be... <laughs> subscribing to Mr. Pokey's YouTube at youtube.com forward shares at Mr. Pokey and following Mr. Pokey's stream at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Pokey and join the Discord at discord.gg forward slash Pokey's series, right? Where we have a very active community talking about Hongai Star on a daily basis and uh, with these 10 tips combined, you will get an infinitely much better Akron playing experience. Note that I said a much better Akron playing experience because if you were to follow the stream and join the YouTube enjoy the village enjoy the discord and all that you will have a better play experience in general not just for Akron but in all walks of your life whenever you're playing Hongai Story right so yeah with that we've come to the end of today's content and I'll see you guys next time I, I, I genuinely cannot believe this shit I genuinely cannot believe this shit I genuinely I genuinely cannot believe this shit guys I gen did I say I genuinely I, I, did I say how I genuinely cannot believe this shit I genuinely cannot believe this shit guys